for a waves of protests across Tamil Nadu demanding the bull taming sport Jalikat to be allowed. And the epicenter of these protests is Marina Beach in Chennai, where thousands of students and young people, techies, have been parked since Tuesday evening. It's been a peaceful a protest there, but those gathered have refused to leave till the ban on Jalikattu is lifted. There was a mild lati charge this morning. There you can see the police there. Of course, the police trying to deal with the situation of so many people gathering in one spot, though they, according to reports, they're very well organized. And as I said, they have been sitting there very peacefully. Now, uh, the protesters are demanding that the government and courts listen to their demands, saying their fight is for their culture, for Tamil pride. Jalikattu, they claim, is not cruel to animals. The bull taming sport was banned three years ago by the Supreme Court after animal rights activists petitioned the court over cruelty to the bulls. The protesters also want a ban on PETA, the organization that went to the top court. Taken by surprise by the sheer scale of these protests that have no political leadership, the Chief Minister Pani Selvam rushed to Delhi yesterday evening and today he will be meeting the Prime Minister in the morning and according to two reports will ask for a presidential ordinance to ensure Jalikatu events are allowed this year. Chennai's Marina Beach, the ground zero for pro Chalikattu protests, turned into a sea of bonfires for the second night. Rosalind and Vignesh, like hundreds of other college students, have been skipping classes to mark their presence here. It is very much important for a student and uh, the young generation as well to participate and do something for the, uh, for the Tamil nation or Tamil culture. How do you get to know about this? Um, from social media and some of my friends told me about this, so I just came. Kanimuli, a young healthcare professional with roots in Madurai, the hotbed of Jallikattu, chose to stay awake cheering speakers. She says Jallikattu is in her blood. Basically, we would all be kind of buried in our own land with no identity. That, that's what would happen if we don't come uh, united here. Abhishek, working for Harley Davidson, volunteers to regulate traffic on the choked beach road. His concern, protecting native breeds. Cockfights were banned, country chickens gone extinct. Now broilers have come into the market, which possesses a great threat to everyone's health. Country dogs have banned, now pedigree and the royal cannon, these kind of foods come into the market. Jallikattu is banned, our country cows will be extinct and these jerky cows will come. Randani and her friends went a step ahead. They supply free dinner and water for the weary souls. Her little son turned Superman. Since I'm a homemaker, I cannot uh, stay from the morning. I have one kid. So I thought of coming in the night to support the people by giving the food and the water. That's what I can do it. Not everyone here has had a first-hand experience of Jallikattu. Setting aside the cruelty and the legality, the band sport has certainly struck a chord with several thousand youngsters here. In Chennai, on the Marina Beach, with camera person Edwin, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.